What is up, everybody? It's your boy Rogue here. So, first and foremost, my apologies in advance. Your boy got his first ever community guideline strike on YouTube during my most recent stream. It was lit. So, for seven days, I couldn't upload videos or have any communication with you guys, and etc. I guess I was technically in YouTube jail. Nevertheless, I'm back bringing you guys my um, following the Albaz 3 Structured X deck profile. A lot of you guys requested after my vlog. So I'm just going to shoot straight to the list, man. I ain't trying to waste too much of you guys' time. You run three following the Albaz, man. It's a really good card. He, when you normal summon or special summon him, you can fusion off the field, off your opponent's field. Really good. You run it at three, no exceptions. Um, I didn't really pull his effect off because most meta decks obviously have a lot of... Um, Negation or armor negates. However, coming into the side deck, if you side if you side in Dark Ruler no more, you hit him with it. You could Dark Ruler no more, bring him out, fusion off the field, really good. Running at three, especially because of the structured X. Three Dogmatica, Fruitless Denied. He's really good because obviously in the Invoke Dogmatica decks, he when you have um Ecclesia, bring him out, negate a monster effect, which is a really good touch. In this build, he's just a big body and you using a fusion with. Um Rare cases can come up where you have him on the board already and they bring out another one to negate, which is pretty cool. Running at three, it's just a free summon. Um, like I said, it's just three structure deck, deck. Really good at locals. Like I went two two of my previous locals um, with this deck. I beat DDDs and I went game through went to game through with base, which is really good. So yeah, man, this this card's pretty insane. This is a big body. I like three Albion and Strata Dragon. I noticed in some pure Despia builds online, the ones that's been, like, been winning the YCS and topping the regions, they only run one or they don't run it at all. I like it because it's essentially like an upstart goblin. You send a branded spell from your deck to the graveyard, put them in the bottom of the deck to draw a card. Like anything that draws is amazing to me. Um, yeah, running at three, no exceptions. In my real build of this deck that I'm going to make, I'm probably going to run three because it's just that good. Three kit. Uh, he's the budget Alibur. Um, you search out brand diffusion when you normal spell some of him and then you got to pick one card back to your deck as it's a fair trade off in my opinion. Obviously Alibur is better because he just normal summons added brand diffusion and that's it. But I like Kit because if you have a fusion in the graveyard as well, you get a special summon him, search, pick one back, and go off, and you don't have to waste your normal summon. So three, no exceptions. I don't know how I feel about this in my regular build. However, I feel like I'm probably going to run it at three. Um... Three the golden source. So really good card. Um, I just never got to resolve it at locals. And then when I did have it, I just set it because it was always dead. It's like when I had it, I was already winning. And then by the time I was losing, my board got wiped. So I never got to get the Sakuresu armor effect off. However, against um, it, it's really good against people who, I guess, made Dark Ruler no more you, try to attack you. Because the fact that you can just negate an attack and if you control a fusion, pop a monster is really good. I like that about him. Um, I tested out three, never got to resolve. I probably wouldn't run it in my future structure deck builds. However, it's solid just running it straight out the structure deck as a um, good card. Three Tribergate Merker, man. Um, I told people, man. So my boy Uri did. Shout out to him. He, he um got second in my locals case tournament. I didn't go because I had my son this weekend, but he got second with his shout out deck, and he ran one of these, and he was telling me how broken it is. And I'm like, yeah, man, this car is freaking nutty because it's literally a searchable hand trap. You search it by sending a tinker laid from your extra to the graveyard, and you add a free hand trap. Like, bro, why wouldn't you run that? Like, I don't understand. I, I guarantee you, moving forward in the future, a lot of builds are going to run at least one or two of these because. It's literally a searchable effect, like, right? like, or actually, no, it's, it's a searchable gamma because it's negate effects off the rip. Really good, really powerful. Running at three, no exceptions. Also at three, three Ghost Ogre, three Effect Veiler. Really broken. Um, standard hand trap. The, the structure decks came with them. Ghost Ogre is good in this meta against the um, Brave Engine. And Valor is just Valor. It's really good. I really wish this was Empire, though. A lot of games at locals, I felt like I could have won or came back way quicker if this is an empire so i mean they gave us a fact value it's pretty good you could i guess you could synchro with it but if, if this was um a ghost if this was an empire bro this structure would have been way better one call by the grave two branded and white is literally miracle fusion but better because if you have fusions in your hand you can fusion with them if you want to bring out if you use a fallen albass or you can miracle fusion with fallen albass i like it i run it at two i resolved it once and actually helped me win a game which is really nutty three branded loss uh, i do know some players are starting to pick up on these this card um i like that off the out of the structure that off the rip because um, it stops your stuff from getting negated. Now, I know there's like some weird rulings, like I think, not effect, Valor, I think um, Ghost Ogre, no, I'm sorry, Ash Blossom, 
can still negate um, branded fusion off of this because of some weird ruling. But other than that, though, the car is just insane to protect your fusions and your monster effects. I run it at three, no exceptions, especially when I'm out of structure. Three branded fusion because it's nutty. Um, I don't. I'm not. I'm not gonna waste your time. Like this car is probably gonna get limited or banned at one point. Three extravagance. Now I didn't expect to like extravagance that much. Not gonna lie. However, bro. So glad the structure that came with three. This is one of the best draw cards, bro, in a while. Like, this is really good. Um, yeah. I liked it in the deck. It never it never came to the point where I banished stuff I needed because the, the three structure decks came with enough um dead fusions that you only really as long as you don't banish three mirror J, you're good. So if you give a good shuffle to your extra deck. Um, you're good to go. I, every time I resolve this, I think every time I resolve this, I usually won, which says a lot for a structure deck. So, yeah, three of that, no exceptions. I tried out the one branded sword because the theory was I can use the Albion Dragon, send it to the Grave Rider, and then recover a Fallen Albas letter. And then, under on, on one rare scenario, if I have like branded fusion and Grave Rider in this mid game, I can just flip this, make a token with a 2500 attack. Never resolved it, however, I'm still going to continue to test, and I feel like this card has a lot of potential. And then three there can only be run to run out the deck at 40 cards. Um, the card's nutty. Um, yeah. It's there can only be one. Like, really, it, it's a flugging that wins games. Everything in the deck is different types. So, yeah. You run three. No exceptions. Honestly, I might just run through my regular build. Like, I hate this card so much because I play heroes and they're all warriors. So, if I hate this card a lot, I'm going to pretty much prove why I hate it and just run it. Can't beat them and join them. But, nevertheless, man, it's a good card. I like it. Running at three, best card in the structure. One of the best, like, this is the best structure that they have ever printed, honestly. It came with so many good cards. Shout out to Co Money for um, doing it good, good. Our extra deck's pretty standard. Three Mirror Jade, busted, really good card. Um, two Bree Grand, because he does have an effect that if he's into the graveyard, you can, you can special summon or add in your hand a Tri Brigade monster. So, really good. You can search out the Mirror Cure. I never used Iron Dash. He never came up, but he was rare. Um, I feel like if I played enough games, I probably would have came up with him, though. Tentacle same thing. He can search out a Tri Brigade monster if we just into the graveyard or Fallen Albass. Oh, I'm sorry. He adds Dalmatica monster. My apology. Nevertheless, he's a really good card. Run that two. And then you run the other dude to add the Tri Brigade America, which is really good. Three Albions because he fusion summons into um, Tentacle by sending the Dalmatica monster, and you can go off with it. And three Lubion, like your extra deck is really not that great right now because you need more stuff. However, the key takeaway from the extra deck usually gonna be it's just really a control deck. Honestly, the three structure decks when you build them today, it's really control. So if you bring out Mirror Jade, Banish and stuff, then you can just try to put some power on the field with um Tinklad. You can do some heavy damage. So and then obviously running the field with things like this. Really good. 15 card extra. And then the side deck, I ran this three dark cool no more. Um, didn't get to use it, however, it's a really good card. Three Raking the Dragons because I felt like if I just sat and they think it's there can only be one, they might like Cosmic, not like Cosmic, they might Cosmic Cyclone or pop it and I can bring out a um, freaking Mirror Jade and come back. Um, Kaijus to stop unbreakable, unbreakable boards. It's a ran two of the darks, two of the lights, so that way you can fusion something with it, which is really good. Two Warning Point. I didn't know this card existed into the structure deck and he can negate monster effects and I'm sorry, when a monster is normal summon, that face of card can be used for an attack. If face are negated, also can be used material. I like this card. Um, didn't get to use it. However, it just read good. So I'm like, okay, it's nutty. And then three D barrier because a structure that came with three. And yeah, it actually helped me out a game against um DDDs shutting this extra deck off. Alright. Alright, guys. So this is my um, yeah, three structure decks in detail. You guys once again will be getting this video on Thursday. Huh, stupid YouTube. But yeah, man, tell me what you guys, guys think in the comment section down below. Like the video if you're new here. If you guys want to subscribe for more, subscribe for more. It's your boy, Rogue Hero, and I'm signing out, man. Peace, stay innovative. Deuces. Have a great rest of your day.